Hey everyone, so this is a first look of the Asus Prime X570-P and uh, I bought this X570 motherboard because I ordered or I pre-ordered the Ryzen uh, 9 3900X. That CPU is not going to come for another week or two and uh, I'm just starting to get everything else ready so when the CPU comes I can just go ahead and start upgrading my current CPU uh, which is hosted in this fractal design case. Uh, my current CPU is a Intel i6850K which is a 6 core processor. So the Ryzen 9 3900X is a 12 core processor. I'm getting a 12 core because I want to be able to uh, export videos much faster than the what my current CPU can do. And uh, I think this, uh, this combination with the X570 and the Ryzen 9 is going to do a much, much better job than my current CPU setup. So I got the motherboard. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of the motherboard. Uh, there's really not much to it, but I want to show you guys what exactly comes with this motherboard because this is actually one of the few uh, cheapest X570 motherboard you can buy on the market for now. Um, this is their basic prime line, so it doesn't have any of the fancy features like additional plastic coverings, LED lights. Maybe it have a few, like somewhere over there, I, I can see some LED hints. Um, that compatible with Asus Aura Sync. Uh, so if you have uh, compatible devices and compatible fans or whatever, you can use Asus Aura Sync to sync up your LEDs. This is the IO Shield. Um, and it looks like all the other stuff is actually stuffed in here. Um, let me take the motherboard out first. And I'll leave it on the side. So the manual is right over here with a driver's disc looks like support dvd and what's this looks like a coupon um 20 percent of cable mod cables well if you guys need this coupon code feel free to use it i don't think i'm going to be ordering it so whoever use it first might get a 20 percent off uh for those uh for the cable mod website Take a look at some other stuff. Actually, since this is a very entry level motherboard, it comes with limited amount of stuff. And over here we have two SATA cables and a, uh, this looks like the adapter for the LED, the cable adapter for LED it might be because I haven't seen this connection before. Um, so I suspect that that's for LED. Um, anyway, that, that's pretty much it. You just get two SATA cables. Um, good things I don't really use those SATA cables because, um, I'm going to be using a M.2, um, SSD anyway. And here are some mounting screws for the motherboard. They give you some additional mounting screws. Huh. Okay. And so let's actually take a look at the, what this, um, uh, what this motherboard looks like and uh, it's really hard to actually the selection see so the selection of motherboard at this moment for Ryzen 9 is, is very very limited actually a lot of motherboard you can see um, they are all on pre-order so and this one is actually in stock quite surprisingly in stock on the first day I, I think I ordered from um, New Egg and uh, they have one of those motherboard available, Asus Prime X570P. Over here are two uh, PCIe slots, and I think it supports uh, one at uh, times 16 and uh, two at times eight on each lane. And this is actually PCI Express uh, 4.0 standards. So all those lanes are PCI Express 4.0. And the rest of the uh, PCIe, it's 1X, I believe. So you have uh, just one M.2 connection over here. And this is the new mount for the new Ryzen 9 uh, CPU. 
Uh, let's see, and over here, just give you guys some close look at the motherboard. So, and here. This looks like a, um, maybe an 8 face plus, uh, plus 4 um, design. And uh, so, in terms of, you know, supplying power, it should be able to supply a decent, a stable power for any CPUs that doesn't require overclocking. If you need to overclock, you should consider one of those more expensive motherboards. But for me, I'm using it as is. I'm not doing any crazy overclocking. It should be doing a, it should be doing an excellent job. And uh, over here on the LAN, uh, on the LAN chip, you actually have a little LAN guard, which is like a, a EMI shield for the LAN chip. However, you don't see any shield for the audio uh, output right over here so and it looks pretty basic over here again entry-level motherboard in terms of connections so it's kind of hard to see with all those lying out uh, over here you have USB 910 USB 11 uh, U32G1 I don't I don't really know what those connections are this looks like a USB uh, 3.0 and up connection and over here are your uh, connections for the um, for the PC uh, buttons and the LED lights you have you have six uh, SATA connections over here and over here is the extra USB 3 connection a power connection over here uh, I don't know what this is it uh, it says add gen 2 um yeah i i don't know uh i'm gonna check the motherboard uh the manual and then uh just post the description over here for you guys and uh over here this those looks actually no is that different okay so uh this looks like another jumper cube rgb header so it might be for the led lighting and those are obviously the fans so you have one two three fan connections and um if there's any extra nope i've only seen three connections for the fan and um over here interestingly so even on this quite entry level uh x570 motherboard they actually incorporated a fan for the uh for the bridge chip over here which is quite nice it's always nice to have uh to have you know fans for uh, for cooling on the motherboard because usually some of the, those chips runs really really hot and over here they actually have some actual metal aluminum heat sink uh, on the power faces so those are smaller and this is actually quite bigger over there and uh, I actually quite like it it's it's very simple but it's actually very to the point there's no additional fancy plastic coverings all over like some of the other gaming motherboard that you see on the market today, which I think actually affects the cooling efficiency of a actual motherboard. So I really don't like those plasticky looking things covering all over the motherboard. This is actually quite simple, quite to the point. I really like this design. Uh, very minimalistic, like there's really no additional fancy features on here. Actually, I see two uh, M.2 connections over here. And uh, in terms of I.O. connection, over here, um, you have your pretty standard, the audio output, uh, the gigabit lane. Those are, I think, USB 3.1 Gen 2, I believe, HDMI connection uh, Gen 2, and this is uh, USB 3.0, and those looks like regular USB um, 2.0 ports. Uh, call me if I'm wrong. And over here is your CPU power supply. And uh, under this, you don't really see much stuff going on over here. So it's it's the board is pretty the board is pretty empty. Um, and you see some of the uh, spare uh, capacitors over here, and uh, over here those are probably for the audio, I believe. And uh, so that's pretty much it. So the next step I'm gonna be doing is probably put this back into the box and wait until my CPU actually comes over and then we're going to do a uh, swap out from my current CPU um, and upgrade it into this uh, new Ryzen 9 setup.
So there you have it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this particular motherboard, feel free to ask me in the comments section uh, down below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I know this is just a quick unboxing without uh, any additional fancy stuff, but I know those motherboards are fairly new. So if you guys want to take a actual physical look, there you have it. This is the Asus Prime X570-P. So their entry level motherboard that's currently on sale for $169. And here's a back view of the motherboard just for you guys to check out the build quality of the board and the soldering. Flicking it to the front, 